Now, wow, oh, my country people, these are our Nigerian ex governors waiting they happen. All of them, when once they don't finish their tenure as a governor, now so all of them go wrong, go see it. Is that place now a new retirement home for the ex Nigerian governors? What is really going on? This has now become a new trend for our Nigerian ex governors. As soon as they are done with their eight year tenure, they will forge ahead to the Senate. Are they trying to seek political relevance? Or what is their aim? Because I don't see why this has now become a very, you know, uh, interesting trend to the extent that most ex governors now, you know, they would do anything to make sure they get to the Senate. Now, Adam Soshomole has made a very, very, you know, shocking uh, revelation that uh, he would have died. Had it been he lost his senatorial bid, he would have died. In fact, his BP would have risen to 360 if he hadn't won the Senate seat. This is coming from Adam Soshomole, the former governor of uh, Edo State, when he said uh, his blood pressure would have increased had it been you know, if he wasn't elected to the National Assembly. Come on, what is going on? It hasn't gotten to that extent where Adam Soshomole would make such a statement that he would have died. So what is there in the Senate that he would have died had it been he did not get to that position? What is there? Is there something special in that Senate that they are killing themselves just to make sure they get to that position? That's how, you know, Goswil Apabio, who is now the, the Senate president, he was once a governor of uh, Akwaibom State. He was a former governor of Akwaibom State. Now, after his tenure as the governor, he switched to the Senate. Rabbi Yukwankwaso, the same thing. Other ex-governors, that's what they are doing. Once they are done with their tenure, now so, all of them go quickly run to the Senate to look for. I don't know if they are trying to seek political relevance or they feel that uh, it is not yet time for them to, to retire. So they will switch to the Senate. Now, Adam Soshomole, a senator representing Edo North, says his blood pressure would have increased if he wasn't elected to the National Assembly. You know, the normal blood pressure level is, is less than 120 slash 80 mmHD. While the 180 slash 120 is considered as a hypertensive uh, crisis and requires immediate medical attention. Speaking on Saturday at an event organized in his honor at his hometown in Iyamong, Isako West Local Government Area, Oshomole said his blood, pre uh, his blood pressure would have risen to 360 slash 240 had it been he lost the senatorial election because he would have been mocked by his opponents. So Adam Soshomole, who is a former governor of Edo and a former national chairman of the All Progressive Congress, was elected a senator at the February you know, 25th general elections and uh, he secured about 107 uh, million, 101 votes to defeat Francis Akihana of the People's Democratic Party, who scored 55,344 votes. And he said, if you, if you had voted against me, my blood pressure will now be 360. That is, if I'm still alive, Adam Soshomole said, because the jubilations by the opponents would have been such that they will come and lock my small door and break my small bones but you my supporters said no while noting that many former governors failed in their bid to secure the senate seat oshimala said it would have been a great shame if he also lost there were sitting governors who contested for senate across the country and many of them lost he said I left office seven years ago and my people still honored me with victory. How can I thank you enough? He said when he talked about the people, he thanked his supporters for voting the APC in the presidential election, adding that they will enjoy the dividend of democracy, where he made it known that, uh, yes, he will make sure he represents the people. And there he, he made a statement where he said, Edo no be Lagos. 
He said, Tinibu said, those who say Edonobi Lagos, you know, will be alive when he becomes the president. He will not only make Edobi like Lagos, but be better than Lagos. So, my people, those who say Edonobi Lagos, Tinibu cannot control us. Please tell them that Tinibu is now the commander in chief of the armed forces of Nigeria. So, my country people, when I see as this matter just this serious reach, so say Adam so Shomole, open mouth to say in for don't die. Had he been, he lost his senatorial bid to see that there is something really special in that senate that they are all running to. If not, I don't see any reason why a man like Adam Soshomole, who is already fulfilled, who has everything, so what else is he looking for? He was once a governor, he has ended his tenure, and as expected of him, he's ought to go and rest. I mean, he's ought to retire, but no. Our Nigerian governors, they say no. They would never retire. Instead, they will go to the Senate, and that will be their retirement home. They have turned the Senate into a retirement home. But I can recall that Senator Chimaroke Namani lost his return to the Senate. He lost his senatorial bid now in the 2023 you know, general elections, where he lost to another person. So I see they be like this so. This issue of the Senate is not a do-or-die affair. It is not a do-or-die affair. I don't know why our ex-governors are always killing themselves, fighting themselves to get to that position. Even Samuel Autumn failed in his senatorial bid. He lost to secure this position, but he did not die. He has not died yet. And I know that there are so many other people that lost, you know, uh, they, are, they are returned to the Senate, but they are still breathing. They are still alive. Now I'm wondering why Adam Soshomole will say, oh, he would have died. He may have died. Had he been, he lost his senatorial bid. This is, you know, quite serious, my country people. This is to show that uh, this Senate, there must be something that they are really looking for that uh, they want to die inside. So for... Adam Soshomole to say he may have died or his blood pressure would have risen to 360, you know, uh, millimeters of mercury. It is something else. I know there are so many senators that lost at the elections. They are not dead and they are still living. So my country people, what are your thoughts concerning this? I'm dropping here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you. Bye for now.